The Kendrick brothers, who saw their previous film, War Room, become a number one box office hit, are hoping to see it happen again. But Overcomer has a different theme, one that is underrepresented in Christian movies. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. If I ask you who you are, who are you? This question is asked in various forms throughout Overcomer. In fact, audience members in the preview showing I attended were asked to put on name tags so we could consider who we really are. There was almost a family atmosphere at the theater, friendly people reacting to the humor and more serious parts together. But let's get back to the question, who are you? John Harrison, played by Alex Kendrick, thought he knew the answer to that question. He was a basketball coach at Brookshire Christian School. Then the town's largest employer moved away, taking 6,000 jobs with it. That's quite an impact on a municipality of 24,000. Many of his players left the school in search of a more stable environment. Then John was put in charge of cross-country racing. As he said, I gathered everybody together and said to her, Thanks for coming out. You heard right. Only one student wanted to join the team. Hannah Scott, played by Aaron Wright Thompson. So John assumed his identity as a cross-country coach was also on shaky ground. Finally, and this should have been his first choice, John identified as a Christian. Other characters traveled on a similar path of discovery. We love to see people come to the Lord in a film, and that happened to Hannah, with a twist. Her mentor immediately advised her to read the first two chapters of Ephesians and write down who she is in Christ. Huh, I always heard you were supposed to start with the Gospel of John. On the other hand, I also remember an old radio preacher who used to teach the Who You Are in Christ message. There's a lot of meat in the beginning of Ephesians. That's where we learn that we are blessed, chosen, forgiven, sealed. You get the idea. But when you find your identity in the one who created you, it will change your whole perspective. Imagine starting your Christian life with those promises Hannah found, instead of waiting to meditate on these truths 30 or 40 years later. I can't tell you anything more about the plot, or you'd miss the joy of watching the movie unfold. The humor is not contrived. It's real-life stuff. And as my neighbor in the next seat observed, tell your listeners to bring a big box of Kleenex. As the house lights were turned, who should appear walking in front of my row but Aaron Wright Thompson, the actress who played Hannah? The last time I saw anything like that was in the late 60s, when Batman appeared on stage after his movie. In hindsight, I don't think it was a TV actor wearing the cape and cowl, but Aaron was real displaying the same quiet spirit she showed in the movie. Would you believe she's an 11th grader at a nearby high school? Here's my advice. Get family and friends together for a great night or afternoon at the movies. You haven't seen anything like it since War Room. Overcomer will be released nationwide on Friday, August 23rd. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear this. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.